It's more often than not that we have to do detailing and finishing. It's more often than not that things can be flying and then we hit a brick wall and it seems suddenly things are no longer working. How many patients like that in one day that aren't working will it take to upset you? The price that we pay if we actually care about our patients is that it only takes one. Well, which guru would you like to follow? And what, when that, what will happen when that guru stumbles? So, with that in mind, we are faced with these tremendous number of choices. All of these choices are very popular. If there were one right way to do things, we would all be doing it, wouldn't we? The object responds as though it was one giant object, not two objects. So the center of mass has changed. How do we translate this to teeth? Simple. Yes. But when we do orthodontics, we have an arch wire. Now, if I hook the arch wire up into the slot, and I apply, now I'm, all I'm going to do is change the line of action. So now I will apply a step down in front of the center resistance. Point of application is the bracket. Point of application is still the bracket, but now I am behind the center resistance and watch the rotation is in the opposite direction. Let's look at what would actually occur. I almost hit myself in the head with that tooth. What are the chances as you watch the image, watch the image, that during expansion the bite will actually close down at the centrals? So note the posterior expansion that the expansion has occurred, has been quite successful, and the bite has actually closed down at the central. Subtractive forces are being created by the angle of wire entry. This looks very similar to the gable bend. The angle of wire entry. A bit of a more advanced concept for sure. That all seems quite logical. However, once the wire is placed in all of the slots, let's do that. Let's now place the wire into the anterior portion. So now I've placed the wire into the incisor slots well, well, well. Now the wire is laying below the slot here. That is going to give me a subtractive force of intrusion. Now that can be challenging to understand, but we have a friend here to help you out. Perhaps you have trouble recognizing your friend, so let me remind you who this actually is. Hi, I'm Albert Einstein. How are you?